Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the motor inverter board in a Samsung washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new motor inverter board. The motor inverter board is a part of the washer's electronic control system. It operates the motor and controls its speed. If the washer won't spin or agitate properly, the motor inverter board should be checked and replaced if needed. To get to the part, we need to remove the rear access panel. So get behind the washer and using the Phillips screwdriver, take out two screws, one on each side, that holds the access panel. Then lift it up to release the bottom hinge here. Pull it out and push it down. Then we can take it off. Take out the two Phillips screws that holds the motor control assembly. Slide the assembly to the left to release the tabs from the cabinet. Open the clamp under the top on the left to free the harness and take the assembly out. Leave the main control board cover on one side and remove the other side from the tabs. Do the same thing with the inverter board cover. Free the wires from the clips around the board. Using the flat blade screwdriver, push on the small tabs and separate the inverter board from the main control board. Disconnect the four wire plugs from the old inverter board. This is the old motor inverter board next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspro.com. Connect the wire plugs to the new inverter board. You can't mix them up, they are all different. Match the holes and the two tabs and lock the control boards together. Place the wire harness under the retainer clips. Install the inverter board cover on the side tabs, close and lock it. Repeat that with the main control board cover. Place the assembly inside the cabinet, insert the clips into the cutouts and slide the assembly to the right to lock it.
reach in and lock the harness in the retaining clip under the tub. Secure it with the two Phillips screws. To complete the repair, we're going to install the rear access panel. Slide the top two tabs into the cutouts, then put the bottom two tabs into the cutouts, slide it down, and secure it with the two Phillips screws. Plug the washer in and make sure it runs good. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.